Combat in the Wild is brought to you in part by Mossy Creek Game Calls, Spectre Shot, Jeb's Precision Chokes, HuntExchange.com, H and H Timber, and these other fine sponsors. Welcome to this week's show of Combat in the Wild. We got a short bow hunt coming to you. Man, I had a miserable bow season last year. It was like I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. I was missing deer, skinning deer on the edge of the legs, getting janked on by the guys. Man, it just wasn't good. I picked up my rifle, went and skint the top of a deer's back. I mean, it was just, I don't know, it was just awful. But I stuck it out, grabbed my bow back, stuck it back out, said I wanted to kill one of my bow. And there was this little spot Jim had a stand at that he ain't hunted all year long. And the white oaks were dropping in them. And there was some pollen. So I got in there, sat there that morning. And there really ain't no filler footage on this hunt because did nothing come in until about 8 o'clock. I looked up and the buck we called Limpy, I mean, he's right down there under me. All I got a chance to do is get the camera on and get the bow in my hand. Well, as you see, I just shot a buck. <clears throat> I don't think he was that bad of a deer. I mean, he's not a monster by no means, but I've been having some bad luck bow hunting, gun hunting. I want to kill me a decent deer with my bow. I've been wanting to kill one with my bow. I ain't killed one with a buck with my bow in a few years, so I'm, I'm going to be proud of him. I mean, he's, he's a decent buck, good body size buck. Um, sitting in here on some white oaks. I mean, you can see behind me, I'm sitting on a white oak tree. They feed pretty good. He come in and check the pollen is what he done. Check the pollen. He come up the ridge and gave me a good shot. The shot looked pretty good. Looked like it might have been a hard shot. I mean, I got the good donkey kick and all that out of it, so. We're going to sit here for a little while, you know, give him a while. So, I might let Jim or somebody come in and help me do the recovery, but. It's October the 26th, so the bucks, they starting to cruise and do their thing, so. Need to be in a deer stand. Gun season, taking one with a bow. That's, I mean, I love it. I love it. I went and got my brother-in-law's track dog, but he's a puppy and he's just starting out. Old Hootie. We're going to see if we can't go find this deer. We're going to let this deer lay about eight hours now. I think he should be dead. I made a bad shot on him back low in the gut, so we're going to go do our best to recover this deer. we got old Joey coming in here to help us. We're going to run the camera. We're going to find him. Was he on him? <clears throat> Been dead for a while, ain't he? Yeah, that's the old deer, though, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's limpy. My jinx is over. Woo! Well, I've been having bad luck this season. I missed one with my bow. Skint the top of one the other day with a rifle. And this one come in on me. I picked my bow back up. I want to, really want to kill one with my bow. And this deer we know real well. Got a bunch of pictures and all of him. We called him Limpy. We know he's been around for about four years. But um, I hit him back this morning about 8.30. Found blood, dropped back, and let him just go lay down. I knew it was going to be the best thing. But I went and got my brother-in-law's leopard hound. He's done found a couple this year. He ain't but a year old pup. 
I think we might have ourselves a new deer dog. So he kind of helped take us right to him. But he's got some character and all on him. He got hit by a car or something and messed his other leg up. So he's been screwed up on this side and we've been watching this deer for about four years. So I knew he was one to take out the herd and we'll make a real good bow kill. So I'm tickled to death finding him breaking my yearly curse that's been bad so far. I hope you enjoyed this short show we had today. Thanks for keeping up with us at Combat in the Wild, but also go check out the turkeyologist.com and the Turkeyologist Facebook page. Because coming up again in January, we'll be on Dish Network bringing you some awesome hunts.